Oh, you uh, want me to get bad and stuff now? Or? Yep, yeah, you bet. All right, then you got to give me a minute because it's in my car. No problem. Yeah, kid. Got the Viking shirt on. <laughs> and you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Let me actually put the volume up a little. Yeah, yeah, make it up higher. So I can hear you from over there. So I yeah, so I can talk. <clears throat> All right, just can you talk real quick? Yep. All right, there All you right. go. Ready? Hello, players and coaches, Doc Show Baseball Analyst Instructor. Now we're on part two. We're going live. All right, John and I just met. We went over his video to discuss some of the components we're going to work on. All right, John, just a reminder, right? Part one, working on the proper bat, right? We talked about when you see this motion here. Yeah. Now just make sure we get to that power towards the catcher. Right, and the other part is not scissoring so much that you come forward. You right. want to make sure you stay back on that angle. All right. Let's let's take a couple of swings. Yep, get the bat going first. Good. Now I'm looking at his bat here. Right, that's what I'm trying to look at. I'm trying to watch his bat. Okay, so you got better the rhythm already. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. Keep going. Better rhythm, good. Now, honestly, just stop for a second. Your lower half is 10 times better. You're not scissoring as much. Are you thinking about what's helping you how not to do it so that players know? Uh, I'm sitting more back. Just that's Sitting more back, right. The more because you're scissoring back. so much, right. And then now, go slow, turn, right. And scissoring, I just move a little. Right. And I'd be curious if I watch this video later, are you getting more extension? Do a couple more. Good. Now let's test it even farther because we can and we have time. Um, try to set it up. So what you want to do is you want to set up for an outside pitch. Outside pitch? Now, yeah, keep it in. You got to line up. There you go. Could you just listen to it. And people don't notice all the time. Even the outside pitch, notice people how the outside pitch he's set up. It's still in front of him. You don't hit the outside pitch back here where his back leg is. That's where you hit it. My yeah. So now let's see. Take your normal swing. Good. 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 And keep going, keep going. And you notice people, watch his back leg drive. He is beautiful. Watch his back leg to show his weight transfer and get extension through the ball. That's really what's helping him. And I'm really making sure that his back leg doesn't twist too much. It does a little bit, but not too bad. Much better. Much better, John. Very cool. Okay, just now, now what I want you to do is try a couple. Go back to regular positioning, okay? And do you remember how to do the step back drill? Well, yep, yeah. That's what I want to see. Because I want to see you do that 
right? Because you, you have always been rotational, and I want you to be a little more of that linear motion coming into it. So I want to see if you can still get a little more linear. And so by doing our step back, we should be able to see that. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Especially that first one, you got much more explosion on it. Beautiful. So now here's your next trick. Can you do both? Can you do a regular swing first? Uh -huh and then do a step back and have the same type of mechanics. Can you get that same linear explosion as when you do a regular swing? So do one regular, then one step back. And keep doing it, keep doing it. Good. See, interesting enough, when I'm watching you, stop for a second, when I'm watching you, and this is good for coaches. I'm looking at the background. So I'm looking at your head, right? And behind you, you can't see it, but there's a white house and another house. And I'm watching to see how much linear movement you get. And it's interesting. What might help you is to get a little bit wider on your base to start, just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Because what's happening is your, your feet are a little close together. It's not allowing you to load up on the backside as much as you would like to. Right, you're getting much more of that when you do the step back. So let's try this again. Do one regular one step back, but just start with a little bit. Not, I'm, I'm not, I'm talking little, like three to four inches more than you do, because I want you to feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, then don't do that. But try it. See how much explosion he gets on the step back. All right, how's that feel? Oh, good. All right, so uh, just talking to the camera, what is what has been helpful? What makes a difference? Does it feel any different? Does it feel explosive? What doesn't feel good? Uh, just, just mostly just staying back on my backside helps me get through the zone more and stay through it. And then I guess that helps just naturally getting into a more powerful position with my bat. So I stay more through the zone. So that just really helps from there. And then I guess with more with my legs is the step back drill. That helps a lot. So it gets me moving more forward so I get more power through. That's right. And, and keep that in mind. To keep it in mind, what we want to do is, and I always say this to all my players, that, that explosion that you're able to get a little extra on your step back, I don't expect any player to get that much. Yeah. But if you could take that two or three more inches, why not? You just added some linear power to your swing. All right, let's do five more. Just all regular, no step back, all regular. But think about getting through, power position, coaches and players, notice his bat to the catcher perfectly. Notice he's not scissoring as much. Three more. Good job. Two more. Good boy, John. Good. All right, so I think we're done here for now. Uh, John has a couple of things he can work on. I'm gonna do this with future players. Uh, I, I think what's great is that what I would like John to do is to work on that yeah. in the next day or two, send me updated footage, right? Because I can't analyze this as much. I can't download it and, and do that. So when John gets a second, maybe when we're done here, John, take a couple of, uh, like three or four swings at that angle right now because you kind of understand where I'm at and then send me that and I could compare the two. We'll look at that next time. All right. All right, brother. Good All job. Right. I'm going to try to work and post on it tonight. All right. Sounds good. Good job, kid. Please stop. All right, man. My pleasure. I love it.